Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Inscription. We've got another new deck to check out. I'm very excited by this one. <laughs> On paper, in like a different roguelike deck builder, this set of cards, <laughs> it looks bad. But in this game, I know that that is not the case. Grizzly bosses. Well, we'll do that. Like I said, we'll do that after we beat challenge level 12. We'll, we'll try that out. But we're going to try for a challenge level 12 win first. Cards in the starting deck have one less health. Uh, okay. I will take that. <laughs> sure. More difficult. Bap, bap. Uh, bap. What are we at? Start with... Start... You do not start with a fish hook. It's an interesting one. I do... I didn't use it yesterday, so I kind of want to keep it. So we need... Alright, we'll do that, and then we'll do... Pelts cost more. I... I'm kind of fine with that. I'm kind of okay with that here. That it sounds it sounds neat. Okay, we're like we're literally one um <laughs> we're one fecundity away from a literal infinite immediately or like an infinite amount of sacrificial tools immediately. So obviously I'm looking to see field mice, which I don't actually think can be in here. I think it's part of the wolf pet pelt, wolf pelt. Okay. So let me think. Wolf Cub is actually like a really good sacrifice uh, on our one drops for right away. Rattler is tempting. Because if we get Fecundity, we'll obviously have a lot of resources with that to go for. Let's let's think Gek resources, though. Um, hmm. No, I don't really care about... <laughs> I don't care about any of these for, for Gek. I think we need to take the wolf, because we we need a kill card. Nothing here is particularly exciting that we picked up, but I'm happy enough. Uh, I could put the wolf cub buff on the Gek. I don't think that that makes a lot of sense. I'm just going to go for this, and I think we're looking for reptile. Aquatic. <laughs> I, why, would any, why would I want aquatic? I'll take the wolf head... We still need to go to two totems in order to get a usable totem at this point. So, hey, that's something. Uh, buffing up the Gek is, is very tempting. Okay, so we can do Aqua Squirrel into that. Into, I guess we could Tadpole here. Because we'll, we'll obviously, we'll take a hit... Oh, wait. Oh, he's an aqua pup. This is interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, what else do I have here? I have a, I have an actual wolf itself. Let's just get a squirrel for now. We're going to do a little bit of attacking over this stuff. So, okay, okay. That's right. He's the dire wolf. We've got a problem here. We, we've got a problem here. We need to get the... Oh boy, I needed to draw the actual wolf. <laughs> so we could do three. Bop, this is going to come down. Oh god, he's an aquatic wolf cub. Here's the thing. Wow, we really uh we really got played there. We should have just put our thing over here. But again, it's a, it's an aquatic one. It's an aquatic dire wolf. That's so frustrating. I can't put down the aqua squirrel. I could put down the rabbit and just literally eat an attack. I guess we're going to do that. This is just a bad thing. I, I, do I have to steal a card al already? Like, is that what you're telling me? So this is... One, two, three, four. You're going to do four damage. We'll actually be fine. That's the weird thing, is we're actually fine. I will have to either pop this squirrel or... Or uh, use my hook right away. Because we're going to be going down. We're going to be able to do six. So in order for this, this to be fine, we're going to need to block one of these attacks. If I'm processing this jankitude right... Oh, wait, that's just a regular wolf. Oh, fun. Okay. All right, this has been uh, this has been a, a 
start and a half. Okay, so we do have to fish hook something immediately. That's fine. Hey, it's out of there. I mean, we didn't have to. We could have saved it for later. But uh, I'll just take a win instead. Slowly and surely, we will get a win here. Man, that was a... Uh, that was a, uh, a lesson in stupidity to be sure. That is... That is a firm belief. I gotta be honest, though. Uh, dire Wolf Pup plus Underwater is just filthy. Like, that is kind of a disgusting first enemy to face in the entire game, if you ask me. So here's the thing. If I put this on... Um, I, I, I can't put this on anybody. Alpha's all right. Kaku is obviously good to put on Gek or something. Okay, Magpie on Gek. Kind of like that. Hodum. Now, let's get... Uh, if this is a damage thing, then great. If it's a HP buff. I think we want to... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Could buff up the tadpole to be a 0 3, but it's underwater. If it'll come up, it'll be a frog. It'll be a 1 4. I could super buff the rabbit, and it either goes away or it is a 0 uh, 5. Could buff the gek to a 1 3. I'll build my life around gek. I, I've never gotten the. I've never, never gotten to use gek. Never, never, ever, never. All right. God, what a terrible, terrible first fight that was. <laughs> okay. Wolf cut. Wolf, wolf cut. I can actually handle. So that's something. Okay. So I do like drawing a rabbit in my starting hand, though, because then we get two resources to play with. That's really nice. Don't we just win here? Yeah, we just win here. All right. All right. All right. Maybe we don't want to put the magpie on the gek because maybe we want to be able to draw the gek. The magpie sigil is incredible for us, though. Like, I wouldn't mind. Interesting and very weird. Infinisac gek? Infinisac tadpole? Why? Fine. God, what a bad totem. It gives me something though. It's it's at least it's not literally nothing. I probably should have kept my fish hook and just honestly just took the L on the uh, the first candle there. Hmm. Hmm. little goofy business. Oh, that's not good. Actually, it's great. Wait. Oh, God. I I can't believe I doubted myself. So I guess I'm kind of fishing for the Gek. Cat. I'm fine here with this. That worked really well. Gek. Yes. I can get the wolf down. Do I care? I don't 
think I have anything else. That, do I have? What do I have that costs resources at this point? Okay, that's a perfect lethal, which is something. Rabbit. Yeah. All right. What a weird, what a weird deck and run this is to start off with. I'm super happy I did go for the the two different types of wolves there. I I will happily take another magpie with the intent that I'm going to be putting them on something else, something cheaper. Black goat? Black goat? Fine. It's kind. It's it's kind of like a delayed squirrel. No reptile head, huh? Still. Bird with flight block. I mean, it's fine. Bug sigil is always like nice because we could get like beehive going on. I'm gonna take this for the potential of a future break with with the beehive sigil. Bugs can be a really, really good totem. It'll just need some finagling. But, okay. Yeah, here's the thing. This is, uh, if this is what I think it is. Yes, it is. It is the miner. We don't have a lot of kill conditions. I'll tell you that for free. So if we can just... Oh, you little jerk. Interesting. I don't know what to really do about this because I'm trying to play it a little safe here. We could win this on this turn, but then we have to deal with... Ah, we have to go if we need it. Let's think here. So we do one... Two... We could, we could literally... We could win this turn... In a couple ways here. But then the thing... Whatever we put down dies. could do because like we could do cat into wolf or, or tadpole into wolf cub and then yank a tooth that's three damage that's enough so then we have to deal with the coyote I obviously could put down my wolf and get a kill, yada, yada, yada. But we need a kill condition for turn two, for round two. That, that's the, that is the whole thing with this fight, is you need a turn two kill condition. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's right. Actually, this is fine. Actually, this is ideal-ish. Yeah, wait, this is actually kind of nice. We yank the tooth here. Close your eyes. That actually works out better. Because then we don't have to worry about the boulder. The pack mule being there is kind of nice. Oh, oh boy, that did not work out very well for you, did it? Okay, that was a lot of finagling, but we made it happen, Cap'n. Uh, aqua squirrel, aqua squirrel cat, aqua squirrel wolf, aqua squirrel cat, 
octa squirrel, wolf. We've done it. Maybe not this turn, but I think we've done it. Rabbit is not the card I was looking for, but... I see. I could put out the magpie, but then, yeah, that's not interesting. Okay. Uh, I could black goat. I could get this out. We're going to do three damage. He does two. Then we're going to hit this uh, pack mule. We probably don't need the resources, but my concern run is basically if we don't spend this resource, are we going to just die? Like, I could win this turn or, or effectively sort of win this turn. I'm just going to... With that in mind, just, just do this for now. We don't win this turn, but... We should win next turn now. Aqua Squirrel is useless. I'll just put it on the field, though. We have all these. Well, it's, I guess it's not useless because we get all of this. All right. Yeah, we, 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 we're fine. We did it. We're fine. We're good. We did it. We're golden. We're Gooch. Oop. Gucci. Oh, boy. Should have kept it for a... Eh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. None of it matters. That's a lethal. Yeah, I don't know. I think that we kind of needed to spend our resources there. We'll, we'll get him back, and now we don't have to be so worried about, like, a pack rat. Again, not that pack rat is bad. It's just... Okay. Skink is tempting, because we kind of want to go with reptiles. Cockroach sigil on Gek is obviously, like, very good. And thus, I will do it. And then we'll just keep trying to buff him up a little bit. Gently, gently, gently at the fires. We'll go to all fires and just buff him up one time. Okay, there's a fire up there. Up deer. Interesting. Okay. There's some... Just a lot of finagling going on here, but hey, I'm going for it. Get two items. I'll take a black goat. I'll take... I want, I want to have one of both. I'm hoping we, we have a lot of parts in our deck. A lot of pieces to something. But we have not gotten to... We haven't been to a single sacrificial shrine. Oh, boy, this is something. We have flight block. And I don't actually... I actually don't... I actually don't want it. That's going to be a little bit of an investment over time here. All right, what's next? Oh, nothing. Are we fine? Oh my god, we are. We are so barely fine, but we are fine. <laughs> Okay. There we are. There we are. 
Oh boy. Oh boy, this is proving to be very annoying. Uh, this actually, that's fine. We, it solves it. I forgot that they are waterborne. That right there is a good example of why waterborne is bad. It is a it is a negative trait to have on your sigil, if you ask me. But hey, skink. I think we I think we just take the skink at this point. I think we pretty much have to. Obviously, I'm not going to the uh, fire or the you know what I'm saying. All right. Quants. He's becoming something. Okay, finally we get to go up to a, uh, a merge shrine. Happy that our, our, uh, our skink. Okay, what's he? You stinky. If they're stinky, and they are... then I am just going to go over here. Because they just do one damage. I out I out damage them in this capacity right here. They have the stinky. So I don't really want to put anything out. Ooh, that's annoying. Oof. This is not good. We need something. Okay, wolf cub is, in fact, something. But it has flight block, which, again, is a problem. Oh, my God. Because I can't... He can't live. Man, we really shouldn't have put the fight, flight block sigil on. It really is biting us in the butt. Infinitely more than it's ever helped us. Like, we could have blocked one of these, but what would that have done? The stinky sigil is killing us. And then the beehive, eh? Well, the good news is we get the bees. Gek, thank you. Thank you. Gek, you're here. I think we just let that by. Okay, so that's a kill. We're going to take two. Unless I did some bad math. Okay. Cockroach is similarly a useless thing. Wolf Cub buys us a turn of no damage. That's an overflow kill. We do two. We, we, are, we are fine. This is very slow and painful. Wait. Oh my god, I, I actually almost beefed it because I forgot about flying. Cat, I, yeah, I, you know, dude, this flying ant is now a problem. Okay, um. Oh, we lose! Wait, don't we? Because when this comes down, this is going to do two damage. This is going to do two damage. We totally lost. This sucks. This this board is just unbelievably annoying. I just don't know what to do. 
We have a lot of bees, but they don't do anything because they do zero damage. Tadpole does zero damage. Wolf Cup does zero, does zero damage and then dies. There's nothing we can do. Just go for some kind of a gambit here. Yeah, we, we, we take the L and say again, boy, I am so happy that uh, we are not on single candle because this is, for the deck that we have, this is a very, very disgusting, disgusting board. Like, I kind of just want to die. I'll just let it happen. Is that going to happen on this turn? Okay, we are going to just die on this turn. Good, we're, we're free. I'm free. No, we have Gek. Oh, Gek. We're dead next turn. What else do we have? Magpie? I can't remember what else we even have. I mean, I'll put down the magpie. It's, a, it's another magpie. <laughs> Come on, man. It's a little absurd. Like, all flying, all stinky, all on the board, all at the same time. It's a little absurd. Cool. Kill me. Kill me. So glad we're not on single candle. What a frustrating board that was. What an unbelievably frustrating board that was. Glad we didn't spend our resources. I would say it's... Mm, it's not that likely. Uh, yeah, sigil. Sigil. If we wanted it, sigil, because magpie should make it... Okay, and tadpole makes it pretty easy. That was tight. Stinky. I mean, ringworm. I mean, it, uh, it's, too, it's too late to do the ringworm cheese. All right. Here we go. This is something now. We have two beehives? Hold on, let me check. No, I'm thinking we have two Warren sigils. The Infinigek. Obviously, if we get fecundity upcoming here, I'm gonna be a little, little miffed. Maybe we can get it on a sigil. That's how you make it up to me, game, at this point. Okay, uh... This is some weirdness. I mean, I like it. Thank you? Thank you, I do, I do like it. Like, that is a lot of resources, but... The issue is... Uh, I was really hoping for... Yeah, I mean, it's irrelevant. The issue is, what do we do with said resources? You know? Don't do anything else. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. We could run the risk of ruining it somehow. We need... We need, like, two costs. Which we could try and fish for. Or... We could go for a more specific thing here. Mantis is okay. Oh, River Server is not the two cost I really wanted, but I'll take it. All right, it is a reptile. Come on. Fecundity reptile. My god. Oops. Actually, yeah, that, that's probably better. I, I actually have been not liking uh, the wolves having that. But I could put it on the I could put it on the magpie. I don't know why that would be particularly problematic. Or I could pick 
I could pick bugs. Okay, you know what? That means our bees have flight block. That that would have solved. It wouldn't have solved it last time, but it would have been something. All right, come on. We're running out of heads. It has to give me reptile at some. Come on. That's so. It's so interesting for the future. I don't have any bone cost cards. Man. You are really peeving me off today, game. You're really peeving me a stinky. Uh-oh. The totems typically don't matter as much on this fight, I don't think. Yeah, stinky kingfisher. I, I probably wouldn't be going for that anyway. Actually, perfect. Okay. Kind of want you to take it. Yeah, we want you to take it because if we hit it, then we actually get, um, we actually get the bees, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Oh, wait. How does this work? Do you steal nothing? You steal nothing then. Okay. Wolf. I don't know. This is this is stupid stuff. All right. Uh, take by tadpole. If nothing else, I think he's going to try and take my river snapper. Or maybe he doesn't try and take anything. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, I could black out into wolf. And then, and then yank my tooth, and then we're done. But then we have to deal with the sharks, and we would have two of them. We would have no way to sacrifice the river snapper. Oh boy, yeah, we have no way to sacrifice the river snapper. Sacrifice the wolf move that over. Uh, it's, it's just, it's just some jank, man. What else do we have in our deck that kills? We have skink. Is skink is basically just a win here in a very slow, weird way. If we draw it next, we have Wolf Cub, which is a slow way to maybe, maybe win. We could, okay, hear me out. We could Tadpole Wolf here. Okay, that's what we do. Now this is, uh, oh, stinky again! Tell me what the sigil on the card is when it's flipped over, you freaking jerk! Screw that! Let me know what the sigil is when the card is flipped over, for God's sake! Ugh! All right. 
could have put the wolf here. We, we literally could have just put the wolf here. That's what's so frustrating. What the hell do I do now? Like, ah, okay, that kill, that ruins everything. That literally ruins everything. Okay. Ah, uh, God, let's see here. He's gonna steal the wolf, obviously. That's bad. That's a bad thing. That thing, that is a thing that's bad. Sacrifice for the skink. I attack here. He attacks me. Moves over. He go, goes there. He takes my tail. Maybe. Maybe it works that way. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Oh, uh, all I know is I'm, I'm screwed now. I'm actually screwed now. Just because the stinky sigil is on the other side of this card, and I forgot. Because it's just... Oh, yeah. I was like, it's a kingfisher. Literally, we could have put it there. Oh, God. I'm, I'm processing the best play here. Because we have black goat. I don't know how it works with the skink tail. It would be the new sigil. Whatever. Let's... Whatever. I don't care. You should take the tail now. You don't, but you also don't care. Okay. You know what, man? You know what? I kind of want him to take the... We don't want him to take the magpie because it's going to have Stinky too. This god dang... Oh, you little lucky son of a... Okay, let's process here. We, we magpie these, put down the magpie, grab the geck, put down the geck, sacrifice black goat so he takes the black goat. Or no, put down, and then we don't put down the second geck yet. God, this sucks. But I think that's the only play, right? We want to put that there, specifically. Get goes down. Sacrifice Gek for Black Goat temporarily this turn. But don't put it there because that's stupid. We take two damage. Put we put we put it here. Uh, there's a third Kingfisher now. Well, actually, okay. It ended up being fine, I guess. So now we can, we got this. We put down the Gek. And then he doesn't, he's not, he's not aiming at anything, but I'm going to assume that that's a bug. Uh, okay. One of these days, one of these days. Why didn't he aim at this? Is that that was placed after. Wait. Can I... Theoretically, can I just hit this? And then he's not going to steal anything? Or are you going to... He's not aiming at anything. It would be a bug if he did take something. In my opinion. Okay, he wants my magpie. That's fine. Let's process here. Okay, what else do we what else do we want? What else do we have in our <laughs> what, do, what do we have in our deck? I 
Okay, so here's what we do. Okay. Okay. This is hell. This is hell. <laughs> this, is, this is actually just hell. You aim at something? No? Okay. All right, we're slowly moving up by one. All right, here's what we do. I don't freaking know. So we can't have too many things on the board before we go to phase two. Okay, because I can wolf cub. Put it here, because this is a squirrel now. Gek squirrel. Screw this, man. We're doing it. We're doing it. All right. Well, we have lethal, but at what cost? We need to make sure we have a way to sacrifice something out here and relocate it. Okay, magpie's fine. Okay. Gek is honestly fine too. We may I think we mostly just need to move our wolf. Cause we can keep on playing the Gek on that tile and do two damage every single turn, even though he keeps dying because he's free to play. We only have so many blocks for these other ones. I think we just put the cat here. There's an argument for moving the Gek right now, but I think another, um... I think another... Shark is coming. That's fine. Alright, we're fine. We've done it. We actually can't lose. I will find a way to, but theoretically, this is... Infinite safety. Alright. God, I deserve a freaking award for coming out of that that downside, that downswing of missing lethal on the wolf there. Yikes. Is that just our second boss? This run is... Well, another tadpole. I don't know, maybe we'll actually get our first sacrifice shrine ever. No, we got one. Wait, we got one. There we go. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Do we want this? If we want this, I think we take Sigil. Heart of the cards. Let, let's let RNG decide. Do we get it or do we not? We get it. Is that good? Eh, I don't know. Probably not. We'll see. Uh, I'll be honest, this card is just... That's just such a good individual card. The the wolf alpha was tempting. There's sacrifice. Okay. I can't kill anything that has da uh, a damage source right now. We 
need to start consolidating those things, those pieces. We could go to the mycologist. We could combine the two tadpoles into one. I don't know if we necessarily want that or not. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Everything be stinky. Oh Lord, why have you done this? Get got moves. Another day, another near infinite. Okay, so sigil sacrifice. Like, what would we do at mycologist? We would merge the tadpoles. That's just no. We could merge the magpies. Do I care about merging the magpies? Making them? I don't care about that at all. So I'd be merging. Well, basically, would be removing a magpie from the deck. I'm, I'm going to probably go to the sacrifice. Okay, uh, Turkey Vulture is very tempting, because we should... No, we don't have... No. We don't have a way for infinite bones yet. We have a way to generate lots of bones, but we don't have a way to generate infinite bones yet. Um... This card, I think, is pretty good for us. Strictly down to how many god dang things we draw... All right, um, Warren buff on our other tadpole is funny, but again, we, we really need, um, we, we need power and I don't think that really happens. I honestly don't really want to remove my chump blocker aspect of my Warren either. So maybe it's time to do, let's do magpie buff on tadpole, something free. We could do it. We could obviously do it on the rabbit, too. We could have, like, part of me wishes we just buffed the rabbit up to, to the highest degree because it would have been funny. Okay, so there's that. We, did, we could have put it on the tadpole. We could have merged them up there. I don't know. Spiky could be a problem for us. Oh, you really just are a piece of work. <laughs> I think we're fine. These are ravens. Ah, you jerk. This would do one damage. Unless we grab the squirrel, it could do two. But then it would die. Uh oh, we just we could just win. We could just literally win by yanking a tooth. And I am going to do it because how often do you come back from this with a deck like ours? Not very! Yoink! Could have gone to the trapper up there, but I, it's our deck is too thick. If we're gonna be adding anything, it should be something from here. Do we just call like heart of the cards it again? Was there a mycologist coming up? I think there is. So we could do something stupid with this. Oh my gosh, Tadpole has four sigils. Honestly, don't generate as many bones as you would think. That's my that's my issue with the Wolverine. You'd think we would generate 
you think we'd have an infinite generation of bones, but we don't unless we get another infinite life unit that costs blood. Then we have a chance for infinite bones. So honestly, how many Wolverines are we going to make? We could probably make a couple. Like we could probably make a couple. And it probably is the best option we have. It does damage, which at this point is uh, a miracle property. Tadpole. Tadpole would be the merge. This is... Oh, there's a double fire up there. That's kind of nice. This is, um... It's a miracle we're not dead yet. It, it, that's what I'll say about this deck. It is a freaking miracle we are not dead yet. Kill that. Sack one damage as a result. Okay, wait. Uh, uh, oh, oh, hey, oh. Sure. What's happening? What happened? What happened? Uh, this is not gonna. I mean, it's it's like not gonna do anything for me, really. This is going to turn into a bird. It's going to cause some problems. Are we going to lose here? No, but we are going to lose next turn because this is some malarkey. I can't, um, I can't do it. I can't do anything here. I could kill the raven. We do three. Take one. Okay, we could actually, okay. We could sort of solve this. For a moment, maybe. We do one, two, three. We kill by drawing the squirrel to make this have a three damage. We are then left with... So we do three. So it goes up one, two, three. And then they do, they do four. So we're fine. Okay, we actually don't even need to do... We didn't, don't need to draw the squirrel. Ah! Okay, that bullfrog needs to go, but it can't, so... Okay... Uh, okay, we kill, two damage, take two damage, so even, all right. Oh wait, the possum, that's right, the opossum, that actually delays, we're fine. I forgot, I was like, I was so worried about breaking that because I thought it would cause a problem, but it actually is delayed because it is an opossum, so... 
Wow, this has been a day. Okay, so we have two campfires. We could obviously buff the the geck out of the geck, but thank you, sir. That's the trapper fight too. Oh boy. Obviously, buffing the geck out of the geck sounds great. Buffing the Wolverine's attack up to two, though, so that he can get that lethal ramp up more sounds kind of nice. Buffing up the skink. I could buff the skink up twice, and then either he's really good or I don't have to worry about him anymore. I like that plan. He's either going to be really good. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that because that's the thing. We need consistency. We need consistency in the deck. And that can be that we can get that in two ways. HP. Okay. Um. I want to keep the magpie. It lets me get my geck. I want to keep the tadpole. Obviously, it gets my geck. Kaku, I guess I could, I could ditch, but it's, it's good enough. It's a good enough card on its own. Like even without the backpack, it's a good enough card on its own. I'm tempted to double buff the rabbit. Hope it kind of gets eaten, I guess, sort of. But it's also a free. It's like a good free turn early. But we're already gonna get the double buff. Do I care about Gek having more health? I don't think I do. The only w world where I would care about that is if it has, the enemy has double strike. I don't really care. So Gek having more health, I don't care. He uh, attack damage would have been the thing, if anything. I'm leaning towards Warren, plain Warren. Because we have too many of these. All right, so it's either gonna have a lot of health, be a neato tank. Okay, cool. Or it's gone, which I would have probably preferred in that scenario. We have one item, a squirrel. But hey, that leaves us some room to get an item via magpie. Or not magpie, uh, kaku. Ooh, that could be bad. All right. Give me the geck in my hand. Okay. Tadpole is good enough. Do I want the tadpole to die? Because I could. I kind of do. This lets me use it and then get rid of it. I kind of like that right here. This lets me attack, but then not have to worry about. Yeah, okay. Ah. Okay, um... Oh, wait. Never mind. I was worried for a, a sec, and then I remembered. No. It's gonna be annoying over here, but we'll just kill it. So it's fine. We're gonna get all of the pelts. So that's kind of fun. Oh god, you actually spawn units. I didn't even know you spawn units.
Uh... Do I win if I survive? Don't win. But I win next turn. That's kind of the ideal, isn't it? Oh my god, the gek went back in my hand, gave me an extra card that I needed. Oh boy. And I got the pelt. I did not count for that. I mean, I big brain counted for that. I definitely did. Okay, so we have some thinking to do. Uh, oh, this is frightening. I need to take this, otherwise it causes a lot of problems. Which means I think we're gonna go for this in the middle, which means we need to take that. We need to take the adder too. Okay, if we just take this, we win, right? We literally just take all of the cards. And then we win. Just think about it too hard. We literally have a lethal. Stop. <laughs> uh, that's fun. That was a fun way of. Oh, that was a good. That was a good boss fight right there. That was a, it, like we did a good job. It was we with countering the exact scenario. Oh, jeez, dude, come on. Ah, uh, this is just a random card. I don't really want the cuckoo. I take it so much, but it's just like it's the only thing there that can go in any deck. That's my issue. Uh, I wish we could put it on Gek. Kaku Sigil on Gek is literally a full board of Geks and a full board of uh, eggs. We would need Flight to go with it. No, we wouldn't because uh, it would have Flight. We have one item. We could get another with um, Kaku. So I don't know if we really want to go in for that. Totem, we could try and get something. I mean, there's nothing that'd be, there's nothing good that would come of, of the totem, really. Um, we would need, we would need two new totems to, to get one that's functional. I think we merge, but what do we merge? We merge. Uh, oh, Lord. Kaku on the skink is kind of nice. But lose a little bit of the flavor, actually, of it being flying. Um, Kaku on the, the drawing tentacle is kind of neat. Magpie buff on rabbit. Magpie buff on rabbit. free it's a free draw any card we want now and the flying is irrelevant because it doesn't do damage anyways normally i kind of try to chalk that up as a quasi downside but now we don't have to care i don't know that we win this i really really don't know that we win this the upgrade one i mean it all comes down to the, to the amalgams Okay. How does this work? Okay, it works great. Boulder. We would have to do a guess on where we think those things are coming from. We 
would get the we would get the Wolverine. But what are the odds that we're actually gonna get him stocked up, stacked up, you know? It's not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. We have to worry about the gold. The gold is gonna come down and we're gonna have a lot of problems. It's not gonna happen this turn. We can't play the slow game. This at least lets us kill the Mole Man. Do we want the Mole Man killed? We want the Cuckoo gone. So, if we want the Cuckoo gone... We have to do this. question is I want you to move because then we could kill you with our Wolverine we would have to take three damage but then we have the Wolverine stacking up Not it. This is not it either, really. Oh, this is a bad. Oh, this is so bad. We're dead. We're so unbelievably dead. Because this guy's going to turn into like a two something or other. Yeah, he's going to ruin my life a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to take it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eat trash. We just drew so badly. Which makes sense because our deck was so thick. But. God, it feels bad every single time having to play around the gold. It really, really does feel so bad. Like, it, it, the boss fight really does come down to that. It's The rest of it doesn't matter effectively. It's literally just, can you deal with the fact that your whole board is going to be instant killed turned into gold on turn two? Can you deal with that? No, you lose, pretty much. It's... It is basically how it goes. You have to get a turn one kill past the mole man, or you need to be able to deal with losing every single unit on your field on turn two. <sighs> it's just a bummer. It's just a bummer. But it's how it is. So that's how it is. We just, we could have won that literally if we just drew. If we drew our Gek, we would have won that. If we would have drew our Magpie, or a.k.a. our Rabbit, we would have won that. If we would have drawn our, uh, our, our Tadpole, we would have won that. There's just... Yeah, we just got got. We got got a lot by RNG and uh, a bit by deck construction, for sure. Um, because it's just a game of, hey, hope, hope your deck didn't get too big. Because otherwise... You know, everything in there better be super good. So that's really what it comes down to. So it's just make a thinner deck or shut up is basically how it goes. But 
the last last that is that that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching check the channel for rogue more every single day inscription casey's mod if you want it to stick around if you'd be sad to see it go you gotta let me know so comment down below thank you thank you i'll see you next time bye